Hey guys, how's it going? I am here. Uh, early. Much earlier than usual, honestly. I'm gonna try and do some more early streams over the next couple days. Uh, just while I get my life back on track and in preparation for our trip. Because looks like we're probably gonna be moving out sometime next week? I don't know. Uh, a bit vague. We've got a... We're probably gonna get one of those U-Haul boxes. And we're gonna fill that up and then drive out. So hopefully... Hopefully it'll only be like three, four days of interruptions again. Uh, but in preparation for that, I'm going to record a shit ton of things. We're going to be uh, starting with some Nova Drift today. Uh, what is this game? It's like Asteroids, but amazing. Uh, like really, really freaking good. I played it a little bit last night, like two hours, and it was really fun, and I want to play more. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess there's not much else to talk about with that. Let's just get started. All right, I uh, <laughs> I actually can't see the screen as well, but that should be fine. This game is nice and bright, and oh god, space is dark. All right, I really enjoyed playing this last night. I was I was really expecting um, I, honestly, I don't know what I was expecting necessarily. Uh, I was like, yeah, this should be kind of like a fun shmup thing. I remember having a lot of fun with uh, Steradin back in the day, which. Uh, Found out recently the, uh, the Steradin... Uh, let's just go split shot. Let's be boring. At least for this section. Uh, found out recently the, the Steradin developers have, have stopped. Architect, you can only deploy one construct at a time. 45% increased hull strength, damage, rate of fire, and assembly time. Mines have a better... Interesting. Try Architects. Ah, it did get me. I'm trying very hard to kill what I can. Wow, first boss is here already? Not what I was expecting. Okay. Well, maybe... Maybe it's understandable. Do we do turret? Turret's pretty good. Full strength. For Architects... It'd be either turret or ally. Oh, I don't know. Welcome, Muldemar kid. Thank you for the hundred bits. The wanderer and wait, there's going to be another few days of hiatus. Yeah, I, I'd like to not have more days of hiatus. However, uh, I am going to be. Uh, eh, I can do better than this. Let's do targeting. Targeting is probably the most useful thing I've got in my, uh, in my setup here. Let's get out of the way so he's not shooting me. And let's keep grabbing these upgrades. Homing strike. There we go. Um, yeah, I prefer not to have days of hiatus, but I'm going to have to drive actually across the, uh, across the country, which makes things a little tougher on me. Uh, let's see. We could do shield cooldown. Let's do shield cooldown today. I'm not hurting on damage right now, so I might as well hold off on that. Let's see, Volatile Shields. Or Convergence. We should always do Convergence. Convergence is too good. Yeah, I don't I don't like the idea of hiatuses or taking a break from streams. However, uh, to move across the country, I'm pretty much going to have to uh, pack up pretty much all of my belongings, which really isn't that big of a deal. Um, and I'm going to be able to stream and record up until the day that we move, uh, which is nice. Not actually sure when this episode's going to go up. Actually, no, no, this will this will go up beforehand. Let's do guidance, actually, because if all of my projectiles hit a target, that's that's for the best. And they get they are very accurate. Because of how slow the uh, the projectiles move, and they're not even that slow. It just means that uh, they can aim faster. Okay, uh, let's see. So we don't want to do velocity. Let's see, volatile shields, shield effect radius. Yes, and we got another one. Um, we do magnitude, extra damage, blast radius is kind of nice. Stabilization, hull strength, efficiency. Efficiency is meaningless. 
Candescence would be interesting, but we don't have any actual burn. Unless we get more, I, mm, I, mm, I don't know. What ally? Uh, should probably grab focus, focus fire. Not that it matters too much. I love the projectiles because it looks like they don't disappear ever. As long as they're within, they're on the screen, they will always just be here. I should probably actually avoid those. But yeah, no, I don't know. I don't have much of a choice on, on moving. Because no matter what, like, it's a three-day drive across the country. And I'll be able to record the entire time uh, leading up to the to the move. Wait, did it did it destroy the ally? I'm confused about that. Wait, do we do magnitude? Magnitude, maybe. Radiant shields, extra radius, slower cooldown. Yes, because the bigger that is, the uh, the more effective the. Uh... Oh, there's there's an asteroid there. I can't even see it. There's a little bit of glare on my monitor. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have one ally. That should be good enough. Okay, uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be able to record all the way up to the move it move out date, and then it'll be like three days of me being in a car, not being able to stream at all, unless like a hotel has crazy good internet. And even then, I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to do that, because I'll have been driving forever. <laughs> oh, this is goofy. I. This build is way too strong. I hope it doesn't get nerfed. I'm hoping the other ones get, uh, get stronger. Let's do magnitude next. Everything is bullets. It'd be neat if there were a couple of mods that actively change, like almost combine two weapon types together. But, oh well. Uh, let's see, do we do payload? Yeah. Let's do payload. Big honking projectiles. Everything is bullets. Yeah, it's a shame you can't break off these parts. Because, like, it'd be pretty dang rad if you could... Oh, my ally's in there. So he'll pop off the inner bits without any of the immediate risk. Uh oh. Luckily, my slowing fee field kind of messes it up. Okay, there we go. I know how to pilot this thing. Did my ally get wrecked? Yeah, I did. It's okay. Uh, he did a fair amount of damage in there. Well, I'll give him more credits too. Still can't drive this thing very well. That is that is like the one thing I'm particularly bad at doing. Like I've got some pretty swank combos that I can roll here to just destroy foes with. But uh Actual Actual like maneuvering? Not uh Not exactly it something I'm good at. It, it, er, it, er, I can kinda do it. Mostly works. I haven't seen a whole lot of trains come by, but maybe they're just auto insta dying. I don't know. Elk in construction, extra speed. That's eh, kind of handy. I don't know if I care that much. And I, I might want focus shields. Because we've already got fusillade. Fusillade? Yeah, let's keep looking. Splinter? Splinter. Splinter is too good. And do we do weaponized shields? Yeah, it's huge. Most things die well before they enter my, uh, my radius. But the ones that don't.
In retrospect, weaponized shield still isn't the most helpful thing that I could have grabbed with this setup, but that that's okay. Yay, more Nova Drift. This game looks so addictive. It is. I I was. It, it's been on my like to-do list for actually months. And now that I'm playing it, I'm like, yeah, it's probably for the best that I didn't play it until now. The double time or double team. Ally focuses on the last one. I should probably get nanotech reconstruction. Keep the guy going. I like the rainbow bolts. I wish I could keep these. They look cool. Unfortunately, I, it's a temp booster, I think. And if it's not, I'm going to be happy. Nope, it was a temp booster. What else do we got? Uh, let's see. Focus shields. Flash shielding. Uh, I don't have the other one. I could do better than this. Evolution? Yeah. Because getting a better ally is going to be rather helpful. We just have to make sure that we don't get uh, skunked here. At least I can stay very far away. These guys are brutal if you've got a really, really close range set of guns. Uh, with this setup, but then again, this setup is like king broken. Like all the other ones get kind of fun and memeish, but this is just too high of damage comparatively. Fun though. <laughs> uh, what if the? I hope the developers uh do well with this game because this is a really neat concept, and I would like. I'd love to see more more shmuppish type games use this level of like power up for the guns. They're fun. Let's see, do we do convergence? I think I already have evolution, so I don't really need this. Extra shield durability is probably a good idea. Because we're gonna actually start running into bad suckers. Oh. Awesome, brought a buddy. Might be, uh... I'm gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing and I don't have to aim. <laughs> yeah, all I have to do is just pop over to the other side and it completely screws over his ability to, uh... figure out where the heck I am and what the heck I'm doing. Now they just need an item for combining stuff. Dude, if I could combo this with, like... I'm not entirely sure if this would work with rail guns, but, like... Swarm missiles, I think, would work great as, like, a weapon modifier to this. Rainbows! Oil rainbow all the way. I should probably consider uh, loading up Katamari myself. Shell wasn't too interested in the game, but I wouldn't mind, uh... I wouldn't mind playing it, personally. I don't know if I've ever actually finished... the rapid-fire chain. Barrier. Shields are up. Pretty good. We could get an interceptor. Speed and damage. Let's let's go rapid-fire. I'm not even using my ally enough. Though, in retrospect, inter interceptor might be the better idea. Because, yeah, I notice he tends to kind of hug a little bit. But we can get a Guardian. Hazards over enemies. Uh, let's see. I don't want Burst Fire. I want whatever the other one is. Probably. Because I don't think I've ever finished that off. Reflexive Shields. Be okay. Let's try Guardian. Instead of an Interceptor. I'm, I'm curious what kind of combos he can roll. it looks like he goes for the mines and stuff. He's not going to be immediately or amazingly helpful in a lot of these regards, but I just need him to live. Because they usually just get kind of kind of wrecked here. I should probably put some more uh, modifiers on. Ow. Because 
Because there's the one that gives the chance of elite enemies, which I think I could deal with. Anything that gets me more upgrade points would actually be kind of handy. Okay, so we want to grab Warpath. Usually I ignore Warpath because I don't actually know how many stacks. It has, but I think in this case it would be a good idea. Also, from what I can tell, it doesn't seem like it's worth, uh... It doesn't seem like it's worth going Architect over Engineer. At least not yet. Maybe if there are better abilities or, like, more... Effective? I don't know. Let's see. Siege Weaponry. Total rate of fire increases every time you fire consecutively. Reduced mobility. You take ramping hull damage when you fire your weapon. Oh god, um, let's not. Let's see, barrier. Extra durability, slower shield cooldown, but cannot exceed... Yeah, let's go with that. It'll take three hits maximum for anything to chunk down my shields. Which seems kind of helpful. Is that a... No, that wasn't a turret. Something that looked kind of vaguely turret-ish in all of this. Yep. I gotta work. I gotta work on my mobility a little bit. It science it. No, ramping damage based on um, ramping damage based on out, out, out. Whoop. On uh, on like firing over time. That's a death sentence with this run. It worked maybe okay with the um, the rail guns in like a pinch. I think in this situation it would just be it would be deadly. Okay, so what do we grab? Echo strike. Bullets gain. Uh, your guardian bullets gain a large blast radius. It's okay. I don't want burst fire. I definitely don't want charge shot. Reroll these. So shield durability, shield damage resistance, shield effect power, but it does reduce my hull strength. It'd be interesting to try going like Omni Shield someday, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Eco shell. Uses nearby enemies into attacking it instead of you. Give that a go. Admittedly, I have no idea how much actual HP the thing has. Ow. There goes my shields. I just flew through every one of those shots. Or at least the Guardian's still alive. I honestly was not expecting it to still be going at this point. Let's just stand kind of awkwardly behind that. I'm just gonna sneakily like scoop from one side to the next on this thing. Let me work on that. Oh, it's rainbow time. Yeah, nope. This is not as much of a bullet hell as I was kind of expecting it to be. Like, my hitbox is just my whole ship. It's not like it's the... It's not like it's the cockpit or anything like that. That is for other games. Man, I can't wait till I have a window on the, uh... On the eastern side of my, uh, my house. One of the things, my, uh... My office location is going to be located very firmly uh, where the sun will not be shining uh, in the evenings. Currently, I can't see anything. That kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. Do we do vol vol volatile shields? We should do volatile shields. They're not actually that helpful, but there's a couple of perks that I'd like to grab. Uh, let's see. You are the bullet hell. That is, I mean, that is that is the title of the first episode that I'm um, putting on 
on YouTube. It is ridiculous. I've said that about a couple other games, but I can't remember which ones I've said that about in the past. Okay, so we could do reflexive shields. We could do focus shields. Do we mobility? Yeah, let's do mobility. In the, the shrink upgrade would be kind of nice. There it is. I like how much you can actually, like, screw with, uh... How much you can actually screw with, uh... Gonna do that. Unfortunately, no, my Guardian's not gonna die. Everything else is gonna die, though. Uh, but yeah, how much you can mess with enemy AI by... Oh god, that worm got... That worm got eat. There's not much left. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is working. Let's see, rather early today, what's the occasion? Uh, move out prep, technically. I, I want to have a utterly massive backlog so that when I'm not here, uh, or, and when I get back, I don't have to be like, I need to record 12 hours a day. So I'm going to record 12 hours a day. But, you know, while I still have a, uh, an apartment and a setup to handle it? I don't know. Plus, this game is fun. And I also have nothing better to do today. I mean, apart from, like, packing stuff, but... I, like, I'm still recovering from my, my first trip. I don't wanna... I don't wanna, like, dive straight into loading up my entire, uh, life into boxes. I also don't even have boxes. We're gonna go get those tomorrow. Okay, what do we grab next? Service. Guardian gains the ability to heal other types of advanced constructs. So that's almost completely useless. That sucks. Gotta be something more interesting for this. Let's grab Streamline. Let's go small. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not super excited about homing homing shot here. Like it's neat, but it's like so boring uh, compared to some of the railgun builds or whatever. Thing is, though, it is so effective. Like there's there's no there's no question about how good it is. Yeah, I really got to start leveraging going through the uh, the screens. like, the sides of the screens to avoid shots. Because it- enemies really can't deal with it when you just leave. Is this a new enemy type, or I- uh, yeah, this looks like a new boss. Oh, okay, not a new boss. I fought this guy before. Okay, so what do we grab? I could do stabilization. Uh, we could do discharge. It takes shield damage when you fire. That's a really bad idea. We do not want to do burst fire. We pretty much want none of these. Reverse might be good though. And I'm fast enough to just avoid his uh his lock on lasers. And I'm dead. Holy crap! I oh I was backing up. So because I have the ability to back up. Your character will back up if you're... Oh, I need to avoid that upgrade. Well, that's my high score by a lot, actually. That, that homing run is just way too strong. Here, let's... Uh, oh, Hostile Universe. Asir, asteroids, comet... Comet... Bleh, comets. Black ho holes go up more frequently. Oh, and I was already on wave 12. Let's turn off wave 12. I don't want that. Because that skips like 10% of a run for no upgrades. That's why it went so fast. But we do want elite enemies in a hostile universe because that gets me 20% extra upgrades and some score. And I can deal with that. I'm pretty strong. But yeah, you pretty much stop and face tank. I was wondering about this. I think that actually might have sunk a previous run. Because normally, no? Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to check that. But yeah, effectively, I was trying to turn in like boost out of the way, but instead I was backing up. And I don't know if it was a B thing or if, like, I couldn't keep track of what, what was happening. But I was I was trying to just go forward. 
And I very much was... Oh! Yeah, that's probably it. If you're holding the go forward button but holding back on the stick, I believe the go back uh, actually takes precedence. Alright, do we want a railgun? No, we want blade. Bladed drone to shred enemies and fire upon them. Bladed, blades automatically return and attach to you. Counts as both a weapon and construct. Cannot be charged or employ, employed by another drone or mine. Standard construct. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so we need... Battery would be hilarious. I'm gonna try it. And die. Holy crap, that was a mistake. So, uh... Fuh. Those are some tough enemies to just immediately run into, by the way. But whatever. Yeah, for those of you that didn't see this last night and didn't hear me talking about it, uh, the game, I believe, will be coming out in... April. Uh... I, I pretty much know nothing about it other than the fact that it just kind of just showed up in my inbox one day and they're like, Hey, this seems like something you, you'd play. And I'm like, it is. I would love to play it. And then, uh, then it more or less just sat there for a little while because I was like, I got other stuff to play. Okay, so we could do, we could try Torrent again. We could try Railgun. I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep re-rolling until we get Blade. Damn it! There it is. Blade. I wanna try this again. Now it does actually shoot. Okay, so we want Engineer. Yep, Engineer was the right choice. Okay, so what do we... Oh, let's try Warp for once, actually. Warp sounds kind of fun. Okay, so we want anything that upgrades Constructs. Construct Assembly uh, Speed? Yes. And Shielded Constructs. All Resistance? Not that helpful. That might be good, but let's do targeting. Okay, we could do drones. We're probably gonna want drones. Let's see, turret would be nice. Do homing strike. Yeah, so I think I'm going to need regular drones here. If I'm actually going to want to do well. Okay. That's a good warp. Needed that. Okay, so let's grab let's grab drones. Cuz I like the uh I like the blades. But they need, um, I need a couple more of them. And so I figure having, uh, having some drones to provide extra support should be a good idea. Okay. And then obviously convergence. Oh, interesting. It doesn't look like it's affected by multi-shot, uh, to the extent that I want it to be. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's do reinforced drones. Oh no, it is affected by multi-shot. I just had to wait for it to, uh... I just had to wait for it to... to... take effect here. Okay, so we want to avoid that, because pain. Uh, do we grab ally? 
Alternatively, get Assault Drones. Extra Drone Construction Limit, Drone Rate of Fire, and... We're not gonna, going to get the, uh... We're not going to get a couple of upgrades, but that's okay. The Assault Drones were too helpful last time. Okay, what do we grab next? Do we grab some Velocity? It might be a good idea. Well, let's grab Ally. We're just going to be a box of friends here. And yeah, I might have to work on that velocity. The, um... I was hoping I could use it to actually make the blades, like... Uh, do we grab volley? Tempting. Otherwise, I could do formation pursuit. Yeah, let's do... Let's do that. I'm just gonna put them on pursuit for now. Because they're pretty effective at what they do. Okay, now I've got two allies running around. Now, do I cap out it? Yeah, I cap out it at five blades. Alright, so what do we grab? Ally regenerates. Extra damage resistance for constructs. Oh, but this is your shield applies to your standard and advanced constructs instead of you. Which is a bit spooky. So let's do volley instead. And just get ridiculous. Okay. Where am I? What am I doing? How am I doing this? I don't know. Okay. Uh, we need some velocity, otherwise my blades are getting, going to be use, useless here. Wow, that velocity really makes a difference. We blades. I mean, they're neat? Ow. Oh. He's melting my blades. His dumb shield is ex extremely effective against blade-type weaponry. I got wrecked. I was trying to get out of the way of that. All right, mod tree unlocked warfare. Uh, mod unlocked skirmish. Dealing crash damage to enemies boosts your next weapon damage. Firing your weapon boosts your next crash damage to enemies. Interesting. 